welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we are going to dig into our pantry and cook up a budget friendly chicken and broccoli casserole. Super simple and easy recipe. It really doesn't take that long to put it together. It takes a little while to cook, but not too bad. And we are going to make a chicken and broccoli casserole today. Just stuff we have in the freezer, in the pantry, on the shelf. And I normally would use canned chicken for this recipe, but I've got a bunch of leftover chicken from a whole chicken that was cooked up. So I wanna use that up. So I'm gonna use that today, but normally I would use canned chicken in this recipe. And I'm also going to use a 99 cent bag of broccoli, a little bit of the Fiesta blend cheese. You could use cheddar or whatever cheese you like. This is just what I have on hand and the kind we like. And I'm gonna use a box of stove top or any kind of uh, pre-made type of stuffing like that, or you can make your own stuffing. Um, just a nice seasoned stuffing because it helps give it a good amount of flavor. And also some cream of chicken and a little bit of butter. So let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, we are just going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And I'm going to turn on about a cup and a half of water. We're going to cook the stuffing just how it says on the box. Um, just bring a cup and a half of water to a boil. We're going to add a couple tablespoons of butter. We're going to pop that right in there. And um, once it is boiling, we'll shut it off and add the stuffing to it because it's quick. Okay, so while our water is coming to a boil for our stuffing, I'm just going to put my chicken in here. And I use about two cups or a 16 ounce pint of canned chicken. Um, whatever you have is going to work for this. If you want a little more chicken, you could do that. If you want a little less chicken, that's okay too. Um, I'm just going to put my chicken in the pan and I'm going to use about half a bag of this broccoli. It's still frozen. I didn't thaw it out, but we're going to put about half a bag in there. Give me a little more. I love broccoli. It's so yummy. So we're going to use that and then we're going to add our cream of chicken condensed soup right in here. I love these cream of soups because it just, you can make tons and tons of casseroles and you can mix this up with different veggies if you're not a broccoli fan. Um, green beans are wonderful in this. You could do carrots, you could do a mixture, whatever you have, definitely. We like to mix it up with different veggies and do all kinds of stuff. And I'm just using, this is a six by 10 pan, but you could use an eight by eight or, you know, something in that range. We're just gonna give this a little mix so we can get that condensed soup all around in here and try to get it evenly distributed. The broccoli is gonna release a little bit of water while it's cooking, so it's gonna be a little bit thinner and that's okay, that's what we want. So I'm not going to add any broth to this because the broccoli is frozen. And if it wasn't, I might put in a half a cup. But I usually use the frozen vegetables because, you know, this is quick and easy. And you don't really have to think ahead for it. This is one of those, whoops, I forgot to take something out for dinner meals. <laughs> quick and easy. And this will easily feed four or five people depending on how big of eaters they are, and we always like to have a little bread or some kind of side with it. All right, so once we have this all mixed together, um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of seasoning. You can use your favorite seasoning for this. I've just got a little bit of chef's choice here. It's handy and delicious, and you can mix that in a little. And I'm just waiting for that stuffing. It is just about done. And we're gonna put the stuffing right on top. So I like to use some kind of herb seasoned or chicken stuffing or something that's got some flavor in it just to add to this. You don't have to go wild with the seasonings. You could do as much or as little as you want. A little cayenne pepper's good in here too sometimes. Cause you know, spicy. I love it a little spicy. I'm just gonna put this whole box of stuffing on the top. 
And we're just gonna spread it out so it's kind of even. So once you have your stuffing on top, you can cook it as it is. I like a little bit of cheese on it because I love cheese. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Fiesta blend. It's just a few different kinds mixed in there. This is our favorite cheese. Cheddar cheese would be really good on here or whatever your favorite is or you have on hand, that'll work. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it, but just a little bit. I like a little bit of cheese in there. It tastes so good. Now I'm just going to cover this over so it doesn't get too crispy because this takes about 40 minutes to cook in the oven. So I'm going to do the first 20 minutes we're going to cover it over and I'm just going to throw some aluminum foil on, pop it in the oven. So we've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to put this in for about 20 minutes and then we're going to pull this top off it so it can brown up that stuffing the last 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so after about 20 minutes, I'm just going to pull this foil off and it should look like so. And we're going to stick this back in the oven and just crisp this up about another 15, maybe 20 minutes. Okay, once it's nice and getting all golden brown and bubbly in there, then it is done. We're going to let this sit for a few minutes. We'll give it this a try. Dish is really super simple and easy. You've got your vegetables, meat, everything's in one pan. Toss it in the oven. Before you know it, it's ready to go. Um, it is so yummy and delicious. We really love this for a quick meal. This is one of those things that I love to do when you forget to take something out for dinner or you just don't feel like cooking. You can really just put it together really fast and chuck it in the oven. I love that. Mm. everything is cooked just perfect once that's golden brown it is good to go so for around six dollars you can feed your family really inexpensively this is a super budget friendly meal most everything is in the pantry maybe some frozen broccoli you could use dehydrated and just rehydrate it or whatever you have on hand definitely um, canned vegetables would work in this. You probably wouldn't have to do the foil, just um, throw it right in the oven and as soon as everything is bubbly and brown, it is ready to go. It's super easy and delicious and affordable to get your family a nice hot meal on the table. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.